I'm going to start my job with the uh, environment that I created in SketchUp and Enscape. So, first of all, I want to change my HDRI preview for this space. So, I'm going to click on the visual setting in here, put it the skybox, change it to the skybox in here, and click on the load from file. When I click on it, from the uh, downloads in here, I can add my Snowfield 4K HDRI file. So I'm going to click on it and click on the open in here and it will compatibilize and apply for my environment, something like that. So I'm going to press space and turn on the walk mode or fly mode. So I want to turn on the uh, save frame like that, very simple and easy. So now I can click on the uh, visual setting in this place and I want to focus a little bit on my environment. So I'm going to use field of view in here and decrease the field of view as I can to something like this. And it can be really good and acceptable. I want to see these roof lights too. So I'm going to move my camera a little bit to the right side, left side and adjust it with some good number about 49 degree or maybe 50 degree is good for my job. After all of these works, I'm going to go to the uh, atmosphere and turn off the uh, sun brightness. So when I turn off the uh, sun brightness, the thing that happened related to the outside is that now we don't have any type of sun brightness and we only can use HDRI light for exposing our job. So I'm going to turn my camera to some place like that. Imagine this is the uh, winter rendering for the uh, Christmas or 2024 so you can adjust it with some type of snow mode in here the object is really good working so I can click on the uh, visual setting in here click on the uh, skybox and increase the uh, luminance power of the HDRI for example from 2000 LUX to some number about 6000 LUX you can play with the rotate option and choose the uh, best type of lighting for your environment. I think some number between 20 to 44 degrees is the best lighting. So I prefer to use 36 and this is the final result. In the output, everything is good for me. In the atmosphere, I'm going to turn off the uh, fog or I can increase the uh, fog option and you can see the multiple size of the uh, shadows in the interior lighting. So. I prefer to use fog about 36% and the height of it related to the clouds height, something about 100 meter. It can completely affect your environment. You can increase the sun brightness, but 1% of the sun brightness can completely change your color setting. Night sky is not useful. Shadow sharpness completely zero because in some type of the snowy weathers, we usually don't have any type of hard shadows, but I prefer to use some number about 8%. Artificial light brightness related to the uh, spotlights and self illuminated lights. So if I increase it, I can see some changes in my environment, but this environment is too white for me. So I can decrease it to the uh, 70% and ambient brightness. When I decrease the ambient brightness, as you can see, the darkness in your interior design will be increased. And when you increase the ambient brightness, it will control itself with the exterior lighting. So the best number for the ambient brightness is 46% for now. Wind is not important. And in the image bar, I can turn on the uh, auto contrast. It really helps me in my lighting and fusion setting. Something like that is really good for my job. So I can increase the uh, saturation a little bit, not too much, to create some type of contrast in my environment. So I can increase the saturation to some type of decay number about 111. And color temperature, if I decrease it, you will have some type of warm render. And if you increase it, your render will be cold. Right now, the weather is cold and I want to change the uh, color temperature to some type of cold Kelvina about 9600 Kelvina and press enter motion blur related to the animation so right now we took the render shot and we don't need it lens flare is not useful bloom is not useful 
So I can decrease the lens flare to some number about lower than 20, for example, 17%. Vignette can increase your artistic and effective render. For example, 36% is good. Chromatic aberration is zero. And in the main bar, I can turn off the auto exposure and re-expose my screen. But before I do this job, I'm gonna minimize the inscape in here and sketch up at the left side. So let's review the lights in environments. First of all, I have some type of line lights in back of this wall. As you can see, I can move it to show it to you, something like that. And if I click on the Enscape objects, I can change the luminance intensity of this light. So look at the uh, real-time rendering that we have in here. You can see some type of little rays in here. I prefer to use some power about maybe 10,000 candela per meter. And if you want to change the color of it, you only need to click on the paint bucket in SketchUp and click on the M model, for example, color named. And I want some type of warm color for it so I can pick up the uh, creamy color in here and add it to my light. I can see a little bit effects about it, but not too much because it's worked with the uh, artificial light brightness power. So when I click on the uh, visual setting, and click on the atmosphere. Now, if I want to increase the artificial light brightness, you can see what will happen in my environment. Something like that will be happen. So control it, very simple and easy with your own taste. So I want to use this color for these spotlights on my roof, like that. But right now I can see the changes much better. You need to click on one of these spotlights, go to the Enscape object, and increase the luminance intensity of these lights, something like that. And now you can see what is the main differences between these lights and the uh, some type of ready spotlights in Enscape. So I prefer to use some number about 46,000 candela. And I don't need these reflections on these woody panels. So it's related to your material. I can click on one of these materials in here, Enscape Material Editor, Paint Bucket, Sample Paint, pick it up, and come to the downside and increase the roughness to remove all of these reflections. 34% is good. And I have some another light in the uh, lighting area like that, so I can click on the uh, Sample Paint again, pick it up, and add it to this light in here. So I'm going to select this light. This light is separated from other lights. I'm going to click on the Enscape Material Editor and Enscape Object. So now if I increase the uh, light source of it, look at these flower and vase in here. When I increase the uh, light of it, as you can see, this thing will happen in your job. And it's really wonderful and helps you to create realistic renders. 71,000 candela is really good or you can reduce it to some number about 51,000 candela, something like that, not bad, work well. And I want to change it to the 32,000. I'm going to close it in here. So I'm going to close the Enscape Material Editor, maximize the uh, Enscape environment, click on the uh, visual setting. And if I turn on the auto exposure, as you can see, light will be faded out. So in these type of special projects, turn off the auto exposure and re-expose your screen manually. It helps you to create better renders and control on your setting. Some number about 58% can be a little bit too high. 55 can be acceptable. So turn on the depth of field. Now I want to focus on this target. So I'm going to turn on the depth of field, turn off the uh, autofocus, and play with the focal point. For example, I want to focus on these sofa and the uh, flower, something like that. And I want to adjust it with some 7.26 meter. If I decrease the depth of field to some number between 10 and 20, for example, 11, as you can see, this type of focusing is much realistic than the other times. So I prefer to set it like that. 
everything is good but only few setting related to these color a4 in here is really important i'm going to pick up the color a4 and increase the roughness to the 66 to remove all of these uh, disturbing reflections and another material we need to change is the uh, these black side in here I can click on the uh, sample paint pick it up color a2 is my texture and material I'm going to change the roughness of it to something about 44 percent or if I increase it too much you can see what will happen in your job and completely depends on your architectural view and project knowledge 62 percent is really good for my job right now and specular art can be reduced to the 49 percent now this lighting is really realistic than the other lightings i'm going to click on the uh inscape visual setting another time move it to this place click on the uh it's atmosphere shadow sharpness is zero and artificial light brightness can be decreased a little bit not too much something about 94 and all the settings down for me time for the rendering i'm gonna change the uh, resolution to the ultra hd and i'm gonna click on the uh, main bar turn it to the ultra quality rendering and this is the final shot we have in here so i'm gonna close it in this place click on the screenshot from this real-time rendering with enscape so i'm gonna click on the screenshot and save it on my desktop with any type of file name you want i'm gonna save it as the enscape with these codes and press save as you can see fastest setting for rendering in enscape related to your talent and skill in rendering all of them will be reachable with more training and different type of experience and projects so if you like this tutorial and content please like and subscribe our youtube channel if you want to completely know about lighting in enscape you can watch this video at the end of this video thanks for watching and goodbye